In today's video, we're going to look at the nuclear equations for alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. As alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons, like the nucleus of a helium atom, we generally represent them like this, as helium-4-2. Although you might sometimes see them as the Greek letter alpha instead. So when an unstable nucleus, like uranium-238, undergoes alpha decay and emits one of these alpha particles, it's going to lose two protons and two neutrons. To show this, we have to subtract 4 from its mass number and 2 from its atomic number. So uranium-238 would go to form something with a mass number of 234 and an atomic number of 90. Because the atomic number has changed, it will now be a different element. So we'd have to check the periodic table to find out that it's now thorium. The last thing is to add our helium that was emitted, and then just double check that the mass and atomic numbers on each side of the equation are the same overall. So if we had a question that asked us to write the equation for the alpha decay of radium-226, which has an atomic number of 88, we would start with our radium-226 and draw an arrow to our unknown decay product and our alpha particle, which we write as a helium nucleus. Then to figure out what our decay product is, we subtract 4 from the 226 to get a mass number of 222, and minus 2 from the 88 to get an atomic number of 86. Then all we have to do is check the periodic table to figure out what element it is. So in this case, radon. Now, beta decay is a bit more complicated because it involves a neutron turning into a proton and emitting a fast moving electron, which is the beta particle. So, if carbon 14 was to decay and emit one of these electrons, then because it's effectively gained a proton, its atomic number would increase from 6 to 7, making it nitrogen rather than carbon. However, its mass number would stay the same, because although it's gained a proton, it also lost a neutron, so it still only has a total of 14 protons and neutrons in its nucleus. Just like with the alpha particle, you can also represent the beta particle with an actual beta symbol. But either way, we have to put a minus 1 at the bottom to show that it has a charge of minus 1, and a 0 at the top to show that its mass is pretty much zero. The easiest type of radiation to show is gamma radiation. Because gamma radiation is pure energy and doesn't have any mass or charge, it doesn't change anything. So if our thorium-234 from earlier underwent gamma decay, it would just go to form thorium-234 again, plus a gamma ray, which we show with the Greek letter gamma. The equations for neutron emission are also pretty easy. For example, beryllium-9 would decay into beryllium-8 plus a neutron. So all we've done is subtract 1 from the mass number, because it lost 1 neutron. Anyway, that's everything for today. So if you enjoyed it, then do tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.